What's up guys, Nate Petroski from Narrowway Homestead. All kinds of stuff happening here. Will survives, has arrived on my property. We spent some time acclimating the dogs off the property because as a livestock guardian dog, he's used to this property being his. I just wanted him to meet in a neutral location, get used to the new people, get used to the new dogs particularly. And they've been here hanging out doing just fine. So everything's looking good. Will took the first day to set up a camp out in the far field I have, and today he started helping me with some really annoying stuff to do. Basically, I've got little spots of stuff that I keep. I call them like my bank account. I've got little valuable things, and at least they're valuable to me. But sometimes the wind has taken them and blown them over the hill, and one of the first things I've got for him to do is not fun work. It's not glorious. It's not great. But he's been at it. If you guys don't know Will Survives, I'll tag his channel below. Um, he's used to being out west and doing all kinds of bushcraft stuff, things out in the woods, building some really cool stuff, cabins and, and things like that. Um, here over in the east, we've got humidity like crazy, which he's already noticed. It's not even uh, it's not even hot days yet, um, but he's no he's noticing it. Um, the other thing we've got black widow spiders, a fair amount of them at least it seems this year um so i was catching him up on black widows and when they're most dangerous and where they're at and all that stuff um ticks chiggers all things that exist here he didn't even know what, what chiggers were so i got to explain them in terrible horrible detail and then just kind of back it off and be like yeah they're not really that bad but i made them sound really bad so it was, it was kind of funny <laughs> i've got a couple days of regular maintenance not that fun of of projects um just to get started and then i've got some other cool stuff planned obviously once i close on the other homestead i've purchased which should be definitely not going to be this week maybe next week um that'll be a whole lot different there'll be a lot more fun stuff for him to get into um and i've, I've got i've got some fun ideas i'm not going to go over all of them just yet first things i noticed about will right off the bat that i was totally expecting he seems to definitely have a good work ethic he you know has a, a trailer and he was swapping you know it to the atv to haul stuff around like no trouble hitching up a trailer like just just stuff that like a lot of people his age just don't seem to have any concept or grasp of he was asking me for help for none of it basically he knows how to how to get stuff done and isn't afraid to tackle things and that's something that's going to drive him really far in life and really what makes me excited about being able to participate in his life in some way hopefully i can give him some added skills and stuff but he's already got the drive and ambition and the real tools that he actually needs to be successful in whatever he does in life. I haven't talked about it much, but I have brought other people out here to help in the past. Most of them never made it into videos. Um, I had one young, younger fella um, earlier on in homesteading that just really needed some guidance and stuff in life too. But anything I would set him at, he would get tired, frustrated. Like you know, I think I think he was mid twenties as well, um, older than Will. Um, it was at the time when I was digging a water line all the way from the outdoor kitchen all the way down past the solar panels where my water storage tank is and I wanted running water to the outdoor kitchen which I obviously have and I really ended up digging the entire trench which was my plan um, but I set this other fella at it and I think he made it about two to three feet um, you know there's rocks and roots and stuff and, and he just he just had enough he's just like yeah that's this is stupid like i'm not doing this um <laughs> it, it's just quite a contrast between people i've tried to assist before and you know will um he, he's, he's pretty good at helping himself help himself it's probably one of the most frustrating things in life is the people that seem to need the most help and you want to help them do stuff they just don't have the drive ambition or, or anything and <laughs> You almost have to help somebody that's not in a position of just desperately needing help, which is exactly like where Will's at. Like he's not desperate in need of like help or like life is just going to be really difficult and horrible for him. Like he's somebody who can make it on his own one way or the other. And if you give somebody who's got drive and ambition an opportunity, they fully take advantage of it and run with it. And if you give somebody an opportunity that doesn't have drive or ambition, they squander it and just don't better themselves. And so... There's a ton of people I just really love to help and I but you know they just don't even do like super basic things for themselves and it's just frustrating to be in a, in a position to assist people and then 
realize that like you can't help this person because they'll never help themselves anyway and like i've tried that several times and every single time they've just you know learned nothing gained nothing um maybe they got you know some compensation from me of some sort which kind of gave them a, a temporary boost for a week or two but you know it really didn't better their lives in, in any way and you really have to want to better yourself in order to take advantage of an opportunity like i'm giving will and i think he's going to take this and he's going to get get the most out of it and it's it's going to be awesome anyway stay tuned there'll be content on both my channel and will's channel of both of us doing stuff talking about stuff whatever i'm not sure what the collab's all going to look like yet but we're just getting settled in here getting some stuff going he you know wanted to get right into something and i'm like well this is what i got at the moment um, it's also a good test of, of a work ethic, you know, if that's something he can stick with and go with, then obviously, you know, his work ethic as portrayed online is accurate, um, which I'm quite sure it is and have no doubts of that. But still, um, a lot of people you set at a, a task of like grabbing junk out of the woods and piling it up, um, but a lot of people just say, no, that's stupid, you know, I'm, I'm above that, that's, that's, I'm too good for that. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously, like, and if you're going to run a homestead like I do, there's a bunch of stuff I do that is just doesn't make it into videos. It's just just stupid tasks. Like, it's just nothing fun, nothing glorious, you know, trudging through mud to, like, give ducks fresher water and stuff. Like, it just seems dumb. But, like, it's not because it keeps your ducks alive. So you, you have to be willing in life to do all kinds of tasks that are just really ignorant because it just needs to be done. And who's going to do it? Well, most of the time, you got to point a finger at yourself and do it. At the moment, what I'm currently doing is designing a cabin that I want to get put out in the far field. Um, I don't know, that may just kind of be a back burner project to other things, particularly this new homestead. It's going to have a ton of stuff to do. Um, but that being said, like I, want, I like there to be just multiple projects in various stages that you can always just jump on or, or go at. Um, Will hasn't done any conventional building to my knowledge, so I'll have to be pretty hands-on with it but he should learn a ton through the process um i'm just going to do a pole building style i think i'll plant probably six posts maybe i'm going to go i don't know 12 by 24 and maybe have like a partial porch um just do a just do metal metal roof metal siding i'm not gonna do it oriented like that like they do on carports that's just super annoying um but I'll get, I'll get some treated posts, conventional lumber. I have, you know, all my contracting tools and stuff that we can definitely um, get together. And I'll, I'll just have to demonstrate this is how I do this. And I'm just going to let Will go at it. And we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Um, but making things level, square, plumb, that's all extremely important to me. And, you know, it's it appears to slow down the process um, to a lot of people who are used to building with logs and stuff nothing has to be square or perfectly level because you're not working with dimensional lumber like what would be the point like just get it close um but you know i'd like to eventually maybe maybe i'll install kitchen cabinets on a wall in that little cabin in the future so if, if you do that i want everything plumb square level all that stuff so that'll be something kind of interesting and maybe it'd be kind of cool to to see what will would do with the knowledge of building stuff with just sticks and logs and trees and at the same time, you know, learn the more conventional process. And then he can maybe make a hybrid of the two or learn how to, you know, just a couple different methods. Like, hey, why wouldn't that work with, with um, sticks and stuff too? Um, I don't know where he'll go with it. Just going to be random knowledge. It'll be fun to watch him in the future, you know, five years from now, just seeing what he's, what he's doing if he incorporates anything. He learned here into stuff i um, also going to give him like a full tour of like the solar and the rainwater collection and the wood-fired hot tub and i have a ton of stuff that's just really unconventional that he'd love to check out i'm going to give you guys a detailed tour of some of these things too in longer youtube videos because i have not done longer youtube videos on some of these projects i've just thrown it in shorts and i leave a lot out because you just can't include a lot in that style of video so those of you watching the long format videos, I appreciate it. Hopefully, um, they'll be more more educational than what my short form videos are. But I'm going to go check on Will, see how it's all going for him. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. And again, we'll both be in content together. So check out his channel, Will Survives, tagged below. And if you haven't uh, liked and subscribed this channel yet, feel free to do so. And if not, well, that's cool too. Catch you guys soon.